Dude, you up to? Oh, uh, I'm just trying to finish my essay on what it's like to love a murderer. Oh, uh, Grandpa? Yeah, yeah Grandpa. Get some water. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Charles Mooney, and I've got something here that's going to change your life. You interested? Yeah, let's see what you got. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Take that back. Good afternoon. My name is Charles Mooney. I've got something here that, uh, that dude. No, I, I made it clear last week. I'm not interested. I'm Wait, sorry. No, you, you, I, I you told. I told you. I'm sorry. The face of the... Is everything okay? Uh, not necessarily. That that guy's back. He came back again. He's trying to sell me his old pocket watch. And the first time, I definitely made sure he knew that I didn't want him to come back. And this time, he wasn't. He was resisting, and he just kept coming at me. And I made it known. He knows I don't want him around. Do you know what we should do? No. Did you get a name? No, no name. I think the only thing we can do is put up a no soliciting sign on our gate. Yeah, that's a good idea. But when this man comes back, I'm going to make sure and get his name so we can figure out what this guy's all about. Did you go to Walmart? Yeah. I, uh, I wonder what's going on. Oh, with the, the guy? Yeah. Um, so he's, he's kind of an older man, dressed in nice clothes, and he's trying to sell me his old pocket watch. And this guy, he comes every week at the same time, exactly, 4.13. I don't understand what his deal is, but he keeps trying to sell that same pocket watch, and he acts like he's never seen me before. Nah, man, you're not that good at storytelling. Come home with me today. It's been exactly a week since the last time he's been here. You in? Sure, but that still doesn't mean that I believe you, though. All right, let's do it. How's it going? Good. Good afternoon. My name is Charles Mooney, and uh, I have something here for you that uh, will absolutely change your life. And uh, I'd like to talk to you about it. It's a uh, it's a pocket watch, but it's it's revolutionary. The, the face will never scratch unless something really bad happens. You'd only have to wind it up every 24 hours, and it'll last. It'll last forever. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds awesome. Is it uh, drop proof? It's drop proof, right? Oh yeah. I mean anything. Okay. Just nothing. It's indestructible. Do you want to get some money? We can yeah. Buy that. Yeah. Oh wait, what's your name again? Charles. Charles oh. Mooney. Cool. All right. Yeah. We'll yeah. we'll go get some cash and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Yep, 
that happened. I'm telling you, this happens every freaking week. He shows up, tries to sell me the watch, and I look for him and he's gone. Do you believe me now? I'm pretty sure he just left, man. Now we waited here too long. You can't get down this driveway within a few seconds, dude. What does that not comprehend? I'm telling you, there's something weird about this. Maybe he drove in his car. There was no car that pulled up. Did you hear any gravel? Okay, let's pull up his name and see what we can find. Alright, let's see what we can find. Oh, that, that's him. Third one from the right. Oh, okay. Charles Mooney. Death by gunshot wound to the heart. 1947. No dude, way. Dude, that's him. That's him. What's up, man? What's up? Oh, just hanging out. Just hanging out. <laughs> right. Is that creepy guy been back yet? No, not yet. Hasn't it been a week, though? <laughs> yeah, actually, it has been. You and Belle will be waiting on it at 413 tonight. So it's 410. He could be here any minute. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude, I'm so stressed out. I, I can't be here, dude. I can't take part of any of this. It's not. You're leaving? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Dude, please don't. I, I, I can't do this I have to go. I'm sorry. I can't do this on my own. I'm sorry. I have to go. Whatever. You know why I'm here, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know your grandfather. Yeah. You know what he did? Yeah. Take away yours. <laughs> 